know how long they're going to have without power. Hurricane Ernesto formed off the coast of Puerto Rico this morning. It blasted the island with torrential rain, leading to flooding. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aaliyah Red is live in Hartford tonight with reaction from those with family in Puerto Rico. Aaliyah. Well, something providing relief for those who have family in Puerto Rico right now is that it's looking like Ernesto probably won't make landfall on Puerto Rico. Now, I did speak with many who have family in Puerto Rico, and a lot of them cannot get in contact with their family, but I was able to speak with one man who was able to. I did get a chance to talk to a family member. The power is out in Cialis. That's where Sammy Vega's grandparents live. Luckily, he was able to talk to them. He even spoke to his sister, who's visiting the island from Hartford. She was also flying in tomorrow, flying back to Connecticut and Hartford, but our flights did, can did, did get canceled. No word just yet on when she'll be rebooked. I went to Puerto Rico. I took seven trailers. One was given to a convent, and then everything else was given to the people. Juan Rodriguez remembers when he spent 42 days in Puerto Rico helping victims when Hurricane Maria hit the island in 2018. Today, he can't get a hold of his family. I haven't, but I am going to be calling today. Ernesto, right now a Category 1, just north of the U.S. territory. It hasn't made landfall, but strong winds and heavy rains have left behind this scene. Flooding and downed trees. It's going to be a lot of people hurting. They always had bad power outage. You know, they don't have a great um, light system. Um, and I think that's the main concern. With over 300,000 Puerto Ricans in the state, Connecticut has one of the largest Puerto Rican populations in the country. Vega says their local community groups are working to send relief. We've been um, in contact with, the, with the, some agency there just to be ready. They have funding for water and generators. The 60th annual Puerto Rican Day Parade in the capital city is next month, and there may be new meaning. We will use that moment to, to send a message to the people that live here in the state that Puerto Rico needs help and how we could come together and help out. Now, Vega says uh, cities with large Puerto Rican populations in the state like Hartford, Bridgeport, New Haven, and even New Britain are all talking right now to be able to get together to send funds or send whatever they need to Puerto Rico. For now, live in Hartford, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.